Greetings and welcome everyone. It's All You Can Geek Movie Cast, episode 610. I'm one of your hosts, Jim Gass, joined by Corey Feinsod. Hey yo. And Tony Korkanakis. Yo, yo, yo. Welcome guys. Welcome listeners. Mike will be hopping on very shortly. He's probably got baby things to do, I'm thinking. That's what I'm guessing is the hold up here. Um so welcome oh, yeah. to Movie Cast. Um heads up here, I have a little bit of a throat thing going on today, so if I if I mute myself in the middle of, of, of talking, these guys are gonna jump in, I hope. Uh, no, I'll be no, we're gonna suffer. watch you suffer. Yeah, it's been like four days of just freaking numb throat hell. So hopefully I'm on the back end of this, whatever it is. <clears throat> so, all right. Welcome to the movie cast, though. Uh, listen, guys, I, I did uh, purchase and I am I didn't finish yet because I wanted to set my office up here. But I did pick up Maverick, Top Gun Maverick. Uh, it came okay. out um, and I bought it instantly this morning. And uh, I'm halfway through. Is it cool? it, Oh, oh, so. No, uh, digital. I don't buy any physical anymore. Uh, it's just, it's not even why. Okay, you know no, what I, I mean? Like, wanted, just wanted to clarify. Yeah. yeah, so I picked it up on uh, Apple because Apple has the, you, usually it's anywhere, and they give you the 4K UHD Dolby yeah. Vision version for the same price as the regular ones. So I picked it up for that, <clears throat> and um, I'm halfway through. The, the vibe is so, like, I can't believe they just nailed... The, basically, they just nailed the same movie. Like, it feels so much like the original. Oh, you did watch uh, it, then? No, I'm not oh, through it yet. halfway. Uh, halfway. Through. Halfway? Uh, it's not even a long movie, dude. It's two what hours, are you doing? and I didn't get to do it. That's not I long. Setting up my office. I have. I also. What's have, that bullshit busiest, you watched the other week that I yelled at you for? This is also the busiest week of work for me, and I was working as well. So I, I wanted to get do it justice, oh, and... Uh, you know, I only got halfway through, but I'll have it done and I'll talk about it next week. So finally, get to, finally get to watch it. I'll finish it up tonight. Okay. So that's the goal. Um, I didn't have time. I could, I could have like delayed the podcast an hour, but I'm like, I'm not going to do that. You know? So, all right. Anyways, uh, for watching. Oh, it came out today. That's fun. Yeah. 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 That's what I'm saying. Like, I, I, I forgot. I, I forgot. It's, I forgot. Out, I forgot that Tuesdays are the stupid DVD movie release days. Yeah, yeah, you're, yeah. You're, you're, you're excused. Yes, it, it is. It is. Yeah, it, and today has been <clears throat> crazy, crazy day. So uh, let's see what else. Watching wise, I mean, Corey, you watched anything good recently? She I'm trying to think what else I've watched. Oh yeah, really? She-Hulk. That's what we watched. Yeah, was it was it good? I I think it's fine. I don't know if it's like exceptional. I mean, I not much has happened. So far. Like, I yeah, I mean, what, like, you're you're expecting is. from it. Okay, yeah, what are you ex- what, what are you expecting? Let me, let me explain. Let me explain this whole thing. So um. It's it's good. There's nothing. I have zero problems with the show except for the fact that not a lot has happened. But then I'm like, sh- is that fair to the show? Because we're so used to Marvel like things, just like impactful events and and like. So I understand like what I'm saying here. It could also be like, why are you saying that? But I'm just so used to it that that's what I was expecting. But uh, it's fun though. It's absolutely a lot of fun. Uh, I got right past the fact that the CG is not great. I really don't care. I think it like it's fine. Like, uh... it's, it's serviceable. I don't think it's good either. She Hulk looks very, yeah, um, out of place yeah. at times. But yeah, I, I don't. I mean, I don't have a problem with it as much as like something else. Maybe. This yeah, I mean, works fine here. Yeah, but, I mean, yeah what I you think? Know, like you, you said, I, I, I don't know what you're expecting from it. Like, because like, again, that's just take, take it on its own merit and see. You know, let it be its thing because it is everything that it's advertised itself to be so yeah. far. The show is and, called um, Attorney at Law. <laughs> yeah, no, I got it. Attorney I got it. Law. Yes. Yeah, and so yeah, far, and... I think it's interesting. There are some interesting little. No, I, I that like this. Yeah. That, um, you know, that are very, like, that could have some major impact. Right? And that's what they... we were talking about back when Shang-Chi, around this time last year, I think in yeah, just yeah. two weeks, when we saw Abomination in the cage fight, and we're like, oh, well, that's weird, but it looked like um, Wong was kind of like rehabilitating him or training him yeah, to contain the anger. No, because at first we thought maybe they're like adversaries, but then they looked like they were buddies or something. Yeah, or sparring like partners or something. Right, exactly. Yeah. Uh, so plus, yeah, so we'll get a little more here. You know, plus when he talked about like his, what, seven soulmates or whatever like that, like I'm just like, yeah. that's kind of teasing or hitting at something, I think, and I'm wondering if that's yeah, going to be the like parallel weird, to... Like, I mean, like some of the screenshots and stuff, they're like these, like cultist looking women uh, like viewing his cell or something oh <laughs> so no, maybe that's that, about maybe that's but it. It could I, be something I didn't see that. that or it could be something like you're saying with like could be hinting at thunderbolts or right that's what whatever i was whatever val's go, going on because we know val's putting together a not so um 
kosher <laughs> Avengers yeah. team of her own. Yep. And I think she, like we talked about before, she's absolutely going to be taking over, I believe, like uh, Thunderbolt Ross's uh, role since, unfortunately, the actor who played that role has passed away. So, yeah, yeah that kind of grooming her for that. I would, mm-hmm. what I would think would be going on, especially with them announcing a Thunderbolts movie. Yeah, I, I, I mean, it sucks because, like, um, the actor, I forget his name off, off the top of my head, um, Thunderbolt Ross, but, uh... Yeah, I don't remember who played him. Uh, I you know, it's unfortunate, yeah, because yeah, he was a... William Hurt, yeah, because he was a, he's a great actor, don't get me wrong. Um, and I know I've seen him in other movies and stuff like that. But, like, I feel like, you know, they should just recast that. Because, I mean, the majority of that can be spent in, you know, yeah, CGI okay. anyway. Mm-hmm. Um, sure. You know, Because, I mean, so, you want, you want Red Hulk, you know. Right, exactly. Yeah, like, exactly. Red Hulk would be so cool to see. Um... Plus, I mean, we've, I mean... In, there's already established in the Hulk world of recasting people. You know what I mean? Like that's yeah. Yeah, exactly. pretty par for the course in the Hulk world. In fact, they made a joke about. I love that joke in this episode. By the way, that was great. Which um, one? There's a joke of of I'm I'm not I'm absolutely not the same person I was. Oh, and I, uh, you know, <laughs> I am literally a different person. I'm literally a different person. Yeah. Uh, you know, so I love that line. Um, I was laughing at that, but uh, yeah, it was. I mean, like I said, entertaining. I I um, check the expectations like. Probably midway through this episode and just yeah, enjoy it. Everyone's entitled to their own opinions. It might just not be the show for you. It's fine. Mm. I'm just. I, I just I'm not saying I hate it at all. I just said I went at it with a lot bigger, lofty expectations. Again, it's like a Marvel Impact show. It's not that. It's its own thing, and that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. It's just that's my my first like I don't know what it was. I just went into it like that. So well, I, I'm like enjoying half it. Hour. Like, I don't remember. Yeah, like they're the short. Other ones yeah. a little longer. I felt like most of the other. Yeah, like, I think we're getting more shows. episodes. It's just. We're getting the same right. amount of content. It's just instead of six episodes, I think it's nine yeah. or I mean, something it's like that. Doing the whole yeah half hour comedy, uh, whatever. Like like we said, it's an Ally McBeal, and like Ally McBeal is literally playing on the television in this episode. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah. yeah. No, that's uh, that's definitely a, the vibe. No, I'm me, very right? curious to see where they're going. What like, about I the like the uh, attorney? Like, I, I like uh, the Easter eggs. What about the Easter eggs in this? There were some pretty good ones. Absolutely. So, um, did you watch the episode, Mike? Mike is here, guys. Is he? I did not watch the second episode. What was the, yet. what was the byline in the the title? Like, I mean, it's been everywhere on the internet. So I think we could talk about my. It was a man with metal claws attacks something like bar fight or something like that. Bar fight. In a bar fight. Yes, I yeah. did see that that little uh, thing <laughs> somewhere else. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. So, so yeah, so, basically um, Wolverine the hint there, obviously. Yeah, little, Call back yeah. to the episode or episode. See, everybody focused on that's that one, one, which is whatever. Okay. I get it. But, like, the one below it was really funny because it was like, uh, and Argo was like, is nobody going to talk about the giant, like, humanoid thing sticking out of the ocean? Yeah, from Eternals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eternals. Yeah. It's like, okay. <laughs> so, like, they're yeah. really ch- cheek, uh, tongue in cheek about it. Uh, mm-hmm. And I feel yeah. like, you know, it, it's needed more because, like, you know, we don't have any, you know, uh, humor as much on Earth right now because, you know, Hulk is out and, or, uh, no, Hulk. Thor is out in space and stuff like that. Well, I guess Hulk is yeah. now. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Doing doing stuff oh. and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah. I mean, oh, this... oh no, it's a but not really big spoiler. I mean, it's. Uh, I mean, I'm not, I'm not even sure if I'm gonna watch. The show. Exactly. I don't exactly. Really care yeah. that much? We'll well, see. I mean, as far as like this episode, there is a little uh, thing that happens where like the ship that comes down and not uh, and like uh, basically is a Shakar and ship. You don't have to explain like... it, dude. You just make it worse. I'm just telling Mike. Oh, listeners! You're telling the listeners. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm talking about, man. Spoilers. God, Corey, you you always do this. You always do this. What? Spoil things. I can never watch Firefly. I can never watch Firefly. Okay. How long? It was ten years later. (laughs) Ten years later, you're still like you haven't watched it. I say something, and you're still Uh, upset about it. I'm not upset about it. It's just I just remember it. You're just like because like you're just like. Bam, and I was like, oh, well, okay. It was 10 years after it happened. So? When, so what do you mean, so? So if somebody was like, if somebody was like, I've never seen Star Wars before, you'd be like, oh, Darth Vader is Luke's, Luke's dad. And you'd be like, oh, okay. So, yeah. I'm not mad. I don't point, care. It's, it's just, I'm the same. You're still bringing it up. There is a point. <laughs> it's funny. When, it's funny. <laughs> when, like, I mean, I can understand if it was, you know, the day of. The, the year a, a couple of years oh, come on a decade come on totally. sure sure that's fine that's uh, fine i'm just saying but i mean in the first episode of she hulk the shikar and ship comes down so we yeah that out. i know that what that is yeah he says yeah. it in that episode doesn't he yep he does okay. it's a sakar yep. messenger actor or something yep so something's going on with that 
Yeah, absolutely. So we'll, we'll get that a little bit, but uh, yeah, I don't know. It, it's been entertaining, like he said. So uh, little, little like explanations as what is happening to certain characters that were glimpses, like you said, like uh, Abomination uh, in in um, was it Shang Chi, mm-hmm. and also um, uh, also uh, Bruce Banner with his arm. What happened with that? So you know, we got all that a couple explanations like that. So that's kind of cool. Um, but all right, she looks good. It's good. Uh, Tony? Yeah, just She-Hulk. Uh, and then, what is it? I watched... Um, I just need to put something on Netflix I was cooking the other day, so I put on um, Tekken, the anime? Because I think it just came I out I heard recently. that was good. Yeah, it's, that was really it's, good. it's actually um, pretty decent. Uh, Tekken's I, story is actually very interesting. No, it is. It yeah. totally is. So I was like... Mm-hmm. like I don't know what it was, but I just... Um, you know, as the fighting game kind of genre stagnated in the late 90s, early O's... I just fell away from it because, like, I think I peaked with like Tekken two or three or something like that. So many like three D fighters coming out all exactly. Like, and I was always more of a Soul Calibur guy anyway, so I was just kind of like, eh, whatever Tekken, you can go in the back burner. None of my friends really like Tekken, but uh, yeah, it's a good base story and like, (laughs) you know, kind of typical. First episode is a stereotypical like um, martial arts movie where it's like, oh, like uh, teenage, you know, male student, you know, is family is attacked tragedy happens and then like they're sent off to go train with some like older you know hard ass man and it's like oh i'm gonna train you how to fill in the blank and it's like okay well that's the plot like and and that's all you need that's really all you need you know so uh enjoying that and we'll see where that leads um more in the gaming news somewhat related to that tangentially so that's about it all right, um, Mike. I don't think I watched anything this week. Okay, I'm trying to think. Like, I, I know I've seen some shows. The problem is, like, I, I, nothing really worth po- talking about in the podcast. I watched like a bunch of shows that are just kind of like, eh, you don't have to watch, don't have to talk about them. So, let's get to the news. All right, huh. I gotta make sure we don't miss things here because they didn't paste in properly. So let me just see. Let's lead off with this post from Netflix. Uh, I guess the Bioshock 15-year anniversary is going on, right? It was 15 years now? <laughs> yep. So, 2007, right? We, we were looking it up on their chat. but So, yeah, it looks like Netflix is going to have a Bioshock live-action feature film adaptation um, with Francis Lawrence, who did I Am Legend in The Hunger Games, um, Catching Fire. Uh, so that's going to be directing, and the script will be from Blade Runner 2049 guy. Cool, Michael Green. Yeah, yeah. That's potential. I mean, it seems more likely to actually happen because Netflix is involved. But yeah, yeah. I mean, but you hear all these like movie adaptions happening all the time, and you never know. Well, I mean, that's that, I you know, about it. that's that's just how that's the world we live in now. Where it, it's like you know, I want to say after the um, I don't know, one two back to back of like Walking Dead and uh, Game of Thrones, you know, all these Hollywood people are like, oh shit, people like this nerdy crap. All right, guys, like. Yeah. We, we got to get the rights. We got to get the rights wherever we can and just buy out. And Netflix, you know, yeah. is the big, <laughs> biggest person around just tossing out wads of cash. It's like, oh, Bioshock? Yeah, let's get the rights for that. Go ahead. You know, so uh, hopefully it's good. Yeah. Yeah, hopefully. Um, I mean, you know, like, like we, were, we were talking what? before the how we're not going to probably see any more in the video game universe from that world where we felt like there's room to explore. So unlike my stance on most you know, live action adaptations of video games. I think this is something that would be good if it actually came to be. I think it fits it's for, a great, for a movie. It, um, yeah. yeah, it's got a great foundation. We'll see if they execute it. Yeah. Uh, not executed properly, or at least in, in Netflix terms, is uh, Resident Evil series. The new series that came out will not be renewed after season one here. So uh, it's so... This is the problem it's with executed Netflix. executed all right. Yeah, it's so sporadic. Whatever algorithm they use, whatever it is. I'm not saying this was a great show at all. But I can't get behind shows on this platform because it's like, I don't know what's going to survive the cuts. You don't you know have what I mean? to like, get behind it. Either watch it or don't. Like, what are you, what are you talking about? speaking, though, they, they do, you know, they cut things that suck. So. Yeah, I, yeah. You know. I mean. Listen, I'll be the first the one time. to, like, say, like, Netflix is, you know, their, their strategy has been burning money lately. But they also just cut things that suck. Like, it, they, what, what have they cut that hasn't deserved to be cut? I'm trying to think of, like, older stuff that I used to get into that they cut. The older show, the problem is it's, like, yeah, older I shows. Would, you don't I would have left another season of Jupiter 
Mer whatever that Jupiter's show what is that i can't even remember the name of it so see exactly yeah, that shows how like it that, much. that shows how little you liked it <laughs> well that's the problem you're i know what Corey was talking about yeah i don't know what it was called Do jupiter rising no. ascension that's the movie uh was the ascension was the ascension the movie or rising one of them is the movie you don't want to talk about the other one is a series that was pretty good right exactly you guys can't uh, even remember it so it's not yeah, that good they canceled it that's because they canceled it it could have been really good is it is it or did they cancel because it, it wasn't that good? Jupiter's Legacy. That's oh, man. You guys weren't even close. What do you mean? I had the half of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the half. The half, isn't, half isn't close. You had the first word. It's a, it's a star star attack. Yeah, whatever. I, mean, you know? I got one of them <laughs> out of two. One. 50%. Yeah. Uh, anyway, yeah, anyway. Just, I'm, just, I'm just roasting you guys. But, uh, yeah. no, it, well, see, the, the interesting thing. Okay. First of all, let's talk about Resident Evil. All right, my brother is a diehard Resident Evil fan. I talked to him about it. He's yeah. like, dude, I couldn't even watch past the first episode. It was just stupid. And I listened off all these plot lines. Like, it's just, it made it sound like somebody only, like, had, like, Wikipedia baseline knowledge of, like, the Resident Evil plot line and characters and stuff like that. And was no, just I like... Eh. Anything like Resident Evil. Right, exactly. So it's like, I I'm surprised uh, Capcom even signed on to this. Like, they, they apparently didn't care. Uh... I saw clips of it, and um, it's a silence from Horizon. I, I guess that Lance Hendricks, he's known for other things. Mm -hmm. I don't know him from anything else. Uh, but uh, he uh, he's Wesker, and unfortunately, when he does the Wesker thing, he, was he looks he like Blade. Wasn't he in the Blade. first Resident Evil movie? I don't awesome. know. Was he in the first Resident Evil movie? Also, I I don't know. Uh, that's, anyway, that's, that's funny. That's the other guy, I think. The guy that gets chopped up, that was a different guy. They look similar. <laughs> I confused them. Um, so wait, let, let Mike finish his sentence. Go on, Mike. No, I mean, I just, I saw that, and it, it was just a funny, I saw a clip on it because people found it funny that he, um, he's Wesker, and when he's fully decked out, you're like, oh, Wesker looks like Blade. So. Right, yeah. It's just interesting. Yeah, it's just, um, yeah, they made it's just it, there's, there's sort of a 90s vibe to the whole thing, too. It seems like a 90s made-for-TV type movie thing. Yeah, but not, I, not, not like was, I, I got, like, maybe 15 minutes into it and shut it off. I just was that bad. Yeah. I, I just couldn't get that far into it. So. Yeah. But it's funny that you mention it because um, there was a thread on the Reset Era that um, was had uh, Neil Gaiman and uh, Michael Green, who work on... Um, I guess Sandman and some other show, but they were talking about how Netflix's most important metrics actually um, is the first, like the completions of watches in the first 28 days of release. Mm -hmm. And like that, like they're telling, like literally the, the one, I think he's a writer, he goes, this will sound stupid, and it is, but if you are savoring a new show dropped on Netflix, if it's all the same to you, please let the episodes play through right away so the completion is counted in a time frame that is meaningful to the show's success. Uh, so uh, it's just kind of crazy. Um, you know, that, that's the point. But, like, I mean, that's kind of what Netflix based their entire model on is, like, the bingeability and I stuff mean, like that. I mean, that's the thing is if you like a show, you got to watch it. If you don't like a yeah, show... No, I got you. Yeah, got so... You. All right. Uh, so that is Resident Evil. What else we have here? Let's see. No real loss there, I don't think. No, I don't think anyone's no. sad about that. No. Um, let's see. Okay, let's go into more Netflix here. That's the Netflix show. Uh, Horizon Zero Dawn TV series. Um, sure. Funny accidental segue. Coming into Netflix. Uh, helmed by Steve Blackman, who does the Umbrella Academy. Um, so well, Aloy get, uh, confirmed to be the main character. In this. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, yeah, so... <laughs> I mean, It'd be yep. funny. So I would like Gerson that, actually. And, and what's, you know, Lance Hendricks done there. there yeah, you go. I, I mean, do we expect... Now, does this show lend itself... Does this game lend itself to be a show? I bet the main oh, character looks like, too. All right, for me now, this is the opposite, because this is an ongoing Sony series where they're already intentionally cinematic, and it's current, too. Like, there's part three of like what looks like a trilogy coming who knows when but uh i don't see really the necessity for this to exist but we'll see i guess nothing needs to exist i mean if you if you want to boil it down no. to it, like nothing needs it's, to exist 
I, I mean, you can make yeah, the same but... conversation about Bioshock. It doesn't need to exist. It's forgotten. I mean, the same conversation we had with Last of Us. Doesn't yeah, so none of us really... need to exist either, but it's that's not about, what that again, means. It's all about, <laughs> yeah, it's, but it's all about expanding your brand. But your we IP talked about this. So it, right, exactly. It's all about the IP. It's all about branding. Sony wants you to love the Horizon the game. They want you to love Horizon the, the TV show. They want you to love Horizon the movie. You can get fans from that don't normally play games that watch TV, and then maybe they'll I play just, your game, and vice versa. You, so it's like, yeah, just get yourself you just, everywhere all at once. Yes. You just worry about, you know, the Halo TV show sure. thing where... Yeah, it's just not but interesting then, enough. Then they don't watch it. Don't watch it. No. No? You're going to watch it? I might check it out to see what it's like, but no, the, the whole I idea was who, 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 is the, who is this for is the question. That if you end up somewhere in between. We've like answered this show. already. We've answered this. It's, it's, it's for people who are fans of it that are going to check it out. It's for people who wouldn't watch, who wouldn't play the game that might be interested in the story. There's a large segment of people that are interested in stories of video games that don't want to play them. And that's why right, we've right. seen over the but years. That's why... Yeah, that's why there's a lot of watch... Uh, watch the playthroughs on YouTube and everything like that. That's why we have a I understand. Anime we talked about before you got on. It's like, yeah, yeah. So. But that's why, again, you don't you want to avoid the Halo shows thing where it ends up in between the fans of the content already and people who are unfamiliar, mm -hmm. where it's just not that compelling enough risk. for them on that's, its own. Yeah, that's what you want to. But that's the challenge. That's a challenge. Yeah. Of, uh, of that's what sure. we and, uh, really are hoping someday that you have most the video game adaptations yes. fail to do. So what we're hoping we'll to have see. the perfection of though. If we get it, it could be awesome. Yeah, there I mean, is not, there is some the lore. There there is some lore. There is some story uh, in Horizon that could be good to explore further. It is one of those apocalypses that have nothing to do with zombies okay. that I I like. So you know, let's see. I, I'll give you the benefit the of the doubt, but it's just the. The games are so cinematic already. I mean, just like, eh. yeah. yeah. But I mean, I'm, 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 I'd like to see what they do with the, the dinosaurs. Yeah, it's robot. exactly. Like, it could be cool. I mean, and you know, hopefully they differentiate themselves a little bit from the source material. They, you know, can use it. But I mean, uh, for example, like you know, maybe Aloy doesn't have to sit in the bushes and whistle to draw enemies for forty hours. You know, and just actually have good fight choreography for a change. I don't know. I mean, that's that's just one low hanging fruit there that they could do. Just play the second game, maybe. Mm, at some point, <laughs> not anytime soon. Yeah. All right. Um, now with Sony raising the price, we'll get to that. <laughs> yeah, that's the next next podcast on the GameCast side. We'll get to that. Uh, yeah, I'm like I'm trying to read this. Um, where is oh my time to shine? That's where it was. That that Twitter account. Um. So there's a lot of chatter on Twitter right now saying that the uh, Black Adam movie is going to basically start the 10-year plan for DC. Uh, it will be Let's a new storyline. <laughs> it will be a new storyline with most of the Snyderverse cast returning. No. Well, there's all this uh, Latino review, the one that had the uh, other story that was <laughs> fake that we reported on like five years ago. And this is that like Twitter account that does a lot of leaks, so they're I pretty I just, accurate. I don't no, I don't want. I really think want to put a moratorium on DC leak news because it's all they don't know what they're doing themselves. Everything like, tomorrow, we hear tomorrow is we'll hear always, wrong. Yeah, always wrong. It's always wrong. It always gets well, contradicted. Okay. I just uh, I don't even want to humor this honestly. <laughs> right. <laughs> so all right, What's um, the, what did they say? Is there's only the Snyder cast uh, is not uh, coming uh, back. It's dead. Yeah, there's only uh, um, this leak. There's only one greenlit DC movie after uh, after um, WB's Man, merger. Just uh, the Joker too. Where did you even post this? I don't movie. see this in the list. I didn't post it. I'm just reading off of. I'm, I'm reading it off the internet right now. Snyderverse returns confirmed, along with Half Life Three. Hmm. Are you muted, Jim? Yeah, he was coughing, yes, I, I was coughing, so I was uh, I <laughs> muted myself. I told people this may be a problem today, so here's here's the here's the right, here's the link. Here's the chat. So movies, paste, boom. Wait, what are you talking about? Is it... I'm looking at their Twitter account because I follow them. Anyone yeah. who say she retreated. Anyone who's saying it connects to the Snyderverse is lying for clicks. Yes. So what are you? But then after that, it says I skipped that part. 
it says it will be a new storyline with most of the Snyder cast returning. Verse two different things. Technically yeah, so the yeah, so they can get the cast League back. Movie. Yeah, I mean they still have yeah. Wonder Woman, Aquaman. Yeah, sure. I mean Cyborg's not coming back. I doubt Ezra is going to be involved in anything. Yeah. Oh, he's going to be involved, or they are going to be involved in everything because there's apology. No, there's no way. <laughs> There's no reason for that apology. That seems well, very only, studio forced. The only, other than uh, DC movie that's greenlit right now is Joker, the new Joker movie. Yeah. That's it. After this DC merger with, uh, you other know, the than Warner the Flash and Aquaman, you're talking about, and yeah, Sam. the only thing that's yeah that's actually being that's already been in the process those, of being all those, those are done. Those are done. done. These are this is the only movie being made right now in DC. Stop them! Yes. Stop Black Girl. We'll see. Uh, you just can't believe anything anymore. Um, what, you think Batgirl will come out? No. Of course not. It'll never be the, out. That It'll was done, and so are these other movies, mostly, but who knows if they'll come out if they change their mind. All right. All right. Let's, let's switch over to Marvel. Let's finish up with Marvel here. Ben Kingsley to reprise Trevor role in the Marvel Studios um, uh, what was it? Wonder Man series, coming to Disney+. Plus. Oh, so... Mm-hmm. Interesting character. It's funny how he's uh, continued on <laughs> yeah. after his uh, appearance in Iron controversial, Man 3. Controversial role in that movie, I would mm-hmm. say, in Iron Man 3. Uh, he's he's really embraced that character, though, and uh, given us some great stuff post that, you know? Mm-hmm. But, uh, I mean, we'll he's, a good, he's a good actor, so, I mean... Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he's excellent. He's a fantastic actor. I, I think just, he... And he really... I think he pulled pretty well after, for Shang Chi with uh, his comedic role. Oh, sure. Yeah. 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 So. Yeah. He doesn't really end up in comedic roles too often, so he probably revels this role. Yeah. No. And and that's like for some reason those actors who are so good, like when they do the just the small bits of comedy every now and again, it it is like it is gold. You know what I mean? It is like next level for them. They just nail it. I don't know why. I just see that all the time. But uh, it's like it's like a comedian actor. Who decides to go like into Action, a serious role? Yeah, and they, yeah. <laughs> like it, Jim it Carrey happen. with uh... that, Yeah, like Jim Carrey's done it with like the number twenty three. He's done some crazy stuff. Like that's really good. But then he's got Ace Ventura in his, in his portfolio. You know what I mean? So it's like he's got for Adam uh, Sandler. Such a range. What is it? Punch Drunk Love. Oh. oh, you can say Adam Sandler's another great example. Of that. Sandler, that's comedian yeah. side. Um, I would say like uh, I'm trying to think of like another a- an action star. Who merged well, into comedy? Was um, it like, would you Tom, Cru- Tom Cruise did it with um, that role, that minor role in um, Tropic Thunder. Tropic, Tropic Thunder. Yeah, yeah. Tropic he, Thunder. he said that he wants to be that character again too. Yeah, but I mean, a lot of actors kind of do it. I mean, like look at Arnold; he's doing like kindergarten. kindergarten Arnold does a cop. great job. <laughs> oh, I think the problem with Arnold was he was unintentionally funny from the beginning, and then yeah. eventually they're like, let's just... start casting him that way. So, yeah. Who is your daddy, married. and what does he do? It's <laughs> <laughs> uh, a great. We're not gonna watch that movie. Great. Um, let's see. Lastly, in the Marvel news, we've got an update saying that Moon Knight and Layla will be in Captain America: New World Order, the movie. It'll be okay. Interesting. I don't know how to connect, but stopped halfway through Moon Knight. I didn't finish that. I just I stopped watching halfway halfway I, through I it. do need to. I do want to watch. I should say, not need to. I do. Want I had to my gripes. Time. I had my gripes with the finale of that show, but overall, I actually really. I can get it. to it. <laughs> I, I just we got somewhere in Egypt, and then I kind of just lost track of my yeah, desire to watch. It turned the show. into apocalypse and destroyed the X Men. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> well, Oscar Isaac's always a good person yeah. to, to watch. He you know, another great actor that can do a variety yes that's a good example that's a great example right there and he does it in the same series he does (laughs) it the same series you know so you get to see uh Uh, the goofy uh, movie like yeah he plays multiple roles in that at first i thought it was that ooze guy Corey. oh Oh, ivan ooze yeah from that's what the apocalypse look like Uh, you know apocalypse look like ivan ooze that's so bad that's what that's the problem i have with that but um he looks so much like ivan ooze rangers (laughs) but for a lot of people not everyone but for a lot of people, that idea, movie like, was the oh, end. want to kind of do practical, but it's just not with Apocalypse. No, no. You need uh, the CG for him. All right. And I think that's it for the news. Uh, looking through here, I didn't see much else this week. So that's going to wrap up, I think, this episode. 
Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, uh, yes, yeah, going to wrap up the episode. You'd be happy to know, folks, I have not watched the next episode of... Uh, what was the series called that's the prequel to... Uh... House of the Dragons. House of Dragons. I haven't watched it. I've even forgot the name of already. House of the Dragon, not House of Dragons. <laughs> yeah, whatever. I've dead. already forgot the name. See, Tony, yeah. feel better. Feel better. I right? do feel, feel better. better. I do. I do. I, do feel... I told you, Jim. Don't don't let the other people tell you what to do. You do no, you. I, I wanted to give it a shot. It did. I told you guys on the last episode. It did not <laughs> hook me. I was done. People with are it. watching it, so like, yeah. you're not alone. No, but uh, I'm done with it, and uh, you know, basically, I've got three more weeks of HBO, and I'm done with it. No, because, if you want to uh, watch Har- it, go ahead and watch it, man. Harley Quinn is um, Harley Wrap Quinn's up. finishing up, and then I'm done with it for a lo- for a while. So, I mean, what else am I watching on HBO Max? Right? I did notice cancel everything. Uh, uh, sort of related, I got the an ad on my when I was scrolling through Twitter, and they're like, uh, if you sign up for a year of HBO Max, you get forty percent off, and I'm like, hmm. Yeah, well, you cut all this content, so I don't really yeah. know what I'm going to be watching a year from now. So, no, right. no thank That's, you. I'm also well, trying to have 40% of the, yeah. the value. So. Yeah. yeah. That's why I don't understand like what they're going to sell. They have no selling point right now. So. Oh. All right, that's going to wrap up this episode of the MovieCast. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. You can write us all you can geek at gmail.com. You can follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook. We are on Twitch, streaming Tuesday nights starting at 8 o'clock. Doing it live. Join us. Chat with us. We'll have some fun on here. We'll see you guys on the GameCast. We're out.